nothing wrong with your television set. There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling. There is nothing wrong with nothing wrong with your tele nothing wrong with your tele nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to... Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile found sometime last week. This is a China UFO July 9, 2010 from Yuku. And uh, it's a chemtrail jet with rear-facing lights forming a hologram or something now. I don't think all chemtrail jets are made for this, but this is what they're doing with the particulate, definitely. Watch the way it flies. And look at the trail it left back there. See that? And now it's shutting off its sprayers. I'll turn them on again, probably. I haven't seen this footage before, so... Definitely a jet, though, with a rear spotlight. It's not a UFO, folks. You can almost see the chemtrail coming out of it. <laughs> a massive fail. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Force has announced that a flying jet has been found and is now in the, in the air as well. Of the Army. You can just change the focus of the spotlight to get different shapes. Uh, that's for all you UFO people out there. July 9th, China. You can do pretty much anything you want in China, I guess. Uh, he's running out of particulate. Uh, Chinese geoengineering particulate's not so good, I guess. So there you go, folks. That's the July 9th, 2010 UFO sighting over China that shut down the airport. It's been debunked as a chemtrail jet with spotlights on the back of it. <laughs> Equally committed are UFO skeptics. Earlier this year, two skeptics set off weather balloons that people in New Jersey mistook for alien spacecraft. <laughs> the pranksters showed up on the local news, pretending to be eyewitnesses. They later admitted it was all a hoax and paid a $250 fine for creating a disturbance. Again, we're not trying to prove or disprove anything. But, it's okay to be skeptical. Be open-minded counter-UFO believers, pointing to former White House Chief of Staff and former Obama Transition Team Head, John Podesta. It's time to find out what the truth really is yes, out there. It's a question President Obama has fielded before. The three astronauts of Apollo 11 who went to the moon back in 1969 all said that they believe there is life beyond Earth. Life beyond Earth. Do you think? You know, I don't know. And I don't presume to know. What I know is there is life here on Earth. And, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth. Uh, we're not taking care of kids. 
who are alive and unfortunately are not getting health care. We're not taking care of senior citizens who are alive and are seeing their uh, heating prices go up. So as president, those are the people I will be attending to first. There may be uh, some other folks on their way. Let's, um, there may be uh, some other folks on their way. There may be uh, some other folks on their way. There may be uh, some other folks on their way. So this is another one that freaked out a lot of UFO sheeple and it's obviously Cam Hayes skies when you look at this or at least it's a complete weather front of fog and mist and uh, playing havoc on the weather with the lightning so watch this and watch for the triangle UFO in the center of the lightning I'll try to get you the best picture I can. Rainey says that so far as can be determined, no one saw the object in the air, and he described it as being made of some sort of pinfall. Other Army officials say that further information indicates that the object had a diameter of about 20 to 25 feet, and that nothing in the apparent construction indicated any capacity for speed, and that there was no evidence of a power plant. The disc also appeared too flimsy to carry a man. Now, back to Taylor Grant in New York. And try to cover it up with the uh, name. So, this one makes me think of the uh, NASA STS videos where UFOs are seen shooting out of lightning storms from Earth's surface atmosphere uh, into space and uh, it's quite a good one but again who knows what was projected into those clouds and who knows what blimps were up there or what foreign aircraft was up there in Taiwan which is quite a hot spot
Deadline Edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army.